All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for coming over. You know, I'm part of the family, the Griffins. Y'all know that's my last name for those who don't. Yeah, uh-huh, last name Griffin, all right. Uh, think I'm gonna make this a try not to laugh challenge. If you guys wanna play along at home, go ahead. Just time step <clears throat> where you guys laughed at. You know, it's, it's very difficult with Family Guy because they, they have no filter. All right, so I'm super excited for this. Um, yeah, so we ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. What is that? It's my magic eight ball. This is the first black ball that Kim Kardashian hasn't played with. We now return to Jeremy Piven as the Incredible Hulk. Right out the gate. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I don't like you now. Fine, jeez, I'll read 1984. You better, because this was more embarrassing than when we played Truth or Dare with present-day Madonna. Uh, Truth. Do I look younger than 90? Dear. This is Pitbull's house. He knows everything about South Florida. He can help us find Mort. Doorbell, 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 ring. <laughs> it's my house. It's mi casa. Wow. Imagine kind of knowing two languages. Just need a little help. Just like how Sylvester Stallone needs help getting ready in the morning. So what are we thinking this morning? Uh, you know, I like a big face, big fat face. Uh, go oh! To, uh, in the eyes. Okay, and what about for your body? Yeah, you know, veins, all kinds of veins everywhere, like little, little rivers everywhere. Oh, I guess you learn something new every day, like the Black Eyed Peas. Hey, what's that? This is a guitar. Wow. Because you're beautiful, Meg. Thanks to you. Come on, let me introduce you to the president. He's kind of like my boyfriend. Uh, hang on, he's still getting ready. Steven Seagal. Uh, uh th it, this, this fat guy? Yep. Go on, ask him anything. I, how did, uh, why, why are you so fat? Okay, ask him about anything but his weight. Uh, uh, you act Asian, you look Native American, your name is possibly Jewish. What are you? Hey, fat. I don't have a housekeeper, and I think you're just present-day Arnold Schwarzenegger. Never thought about that. I actually don't. I thought Steven Seagal was Native American. Huh. Asian, you look Native American, your name is possibly Jewish. What are you? Hey, fat. I don't have a housekeeper, and I think you're just present-day Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, I am a machine. Every second I'm not having sex with a housekeeper. Robots are killing people in the future. Okay, I finished for the day. You lied to me. You do have a housekeeper. Let's go make a large-faced boy. Thank God, I'm not going to die. What do you mean? Of course you are. I'm not going to die, Brian. I'm like Jim Belushi. I am worried about my funny brother, though. Food fight! This is tragic, but will also open a door for me. We now return to Extreme Makeover, Bethany Frankel edition. Move that bus! Put that bus back! <laughs> that was my pleasure too, Peter. <laughs> I knew I'd get you. Just like Danny DeVito got Rhea Perlman. I don't know, Danny. Look, it's either me or nobody. Sold. Really? Are you sure? Oh, yeah, this is nothing. I've been in uncomfortable situations before, like whenever I meet famous people. Hey, what's up? I'm Snoop Dogg. Know what I'm saying? I do! But you don't, Peter. You don't. We're looking for a friend who's hiding out down here. He's a Jewish pharmacist from Rhode Island. Coral Palm Motel. Told you. And here's Pitbull with his newest hit, Tink Ta Tonka Ti Tong Tong Tink. Adios, goodbye, amigo friends. I gotta go get paid to scream, make some noise, in Vegas. Oh, yeah. Peanut butter cup, Dorito sausage, car panini. And let's crack a Cadbury egg over the whole thing. Just gonna use my spare glove compartment underwear as a napkin. I can't believe Randy Quaid gets to eat like this every day. He's Brian. That's more ridiculous than the theory of why Tom Cruise runs in all his movies. Wow, that cameraman has nice, strong arms. You can't catch me, gay thoughts. Oh, you're a worse parent than Britney Spears. I know, I know. Oh, the gift basket was not worth the trip, not by a long shot. Oh, I gotta get.
get that. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> God, that must be where they do the deed. I hope it's at least peaceful and humane. Vic! Oh boy. Magic 8-Ball, is the Fox Network sustainable in this new streaming world? No! No! <gasps> Kim, what's wrong? A black ball went to waste. Lois? Where the devil is everyone? This place is more deserted than James Gandolfini's workout room. Miss Lohan! Lindsay! Over here, Lindsay! Excuse me, where is was Lindsay? Lindsay Lohan's dessert fork? Uh, I think it was that one. Give me cocaine! Ah, they're fine. In fact, I see Stewie reading a book. Scratch and sniff. Lindsay Lohan goes jogging. Oh, God, that's terrible. Oh, here's a pop-up book. Tommy Lee goes boating. All right, what else did I have to do today? Ah, yes, overdose in my apartment. I better get home. We now return to yet another Indiana Jones movie. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Elderly potheads. Heath Ledger. Oh! You, again, Family Guy has no filter. You potheads. Ludacris, that's not Tyrese. What are you talking about? They look nothing alike. Ludacris looks like a human peanut, and Tyrese looks slick. He looks like a Chinese black. Like Africa and Asia had sex while Europe sat on a chair in the corner of the hotel room and watched. Ludicrous human peanut. I was Chinese black. It's gonna be crazier than whatever Kanye West is doing at this particular moment. I'm giving this lasagna a massage while preparing to announce I'm joining ISIS. Thank you for your interest. Don't forget, I was in that elevator with Jay-Z. Oh, hey, that's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> that's from a movie. So are you girls traveling with your dad here? Hey, don't kick him, muddy shoes. He's got a white suit on. Hey, look, I don't know if you guys are really staying here, but you can't get into the pool without a room key. Well, I know a thing or two about performing. I mean, after all, I was Vin Diesel's acting coach. Okay, Vin, I like what you're doing there, but I want you to try it one more time like this. Duh! We now return to Joni Loves Chris Brown. Joni, Chris, welcome to the party. Can I offer you some punch? No, thanks. I had some in the car. Joni Loves Chris Brown was taped in front of a very uncomfortable studio audience. Hey, Chris Brown. I just wanted to say I'm a huge fan of your music. This is just going to make me listen more. Oh, hey, Ray Rice. Would you mind pressing lobby? What do you got, potatoes in your ears? I said press lobby. This is great, Dad. I know. I'm having even more fun than when I... I mean, than when we went Fiona apple picking. Dad, they're all bruised and filthy. Yeah, these might be throwing at Buss's apples, not eating apples. Excuse me, Mr. Cobain? Look, I know you're depressed. Made some bad choices with women. But there's another way. haagen -Dazs. Lots of haagen -Dazs. <laughs> yeah, Let's see if it worked. Here we go. Ha! You're still alive, you fat <laughs> I haven't seen this much denial since John Travolta married Kelly Preston. Damn. John, do you take Kelly to be your wife? I totally do. I mean, yeah, yes, absolutely. And I I'm going to do stuff to her, too, like uh, touch her? Yeah, touch her and uh, kiss her and touch her penis. I mean, no, not that. Not wow, it looks like Michael Jackson's coming right at me. A hurricane? Oh, my God, Peter's out there. Don't worry, Lois. Peter's good at getting out of trouble. Just like Kobe Bryant. We want the truth, Kobe. Did you rape her? Ooh. Ooh. 
What were we talking about? Hey, some of our greatest actors started in news, like Sean Penn. Today's weather calls for uh, breezy skies and sun, and there's going to be a... Get that camera out of my face! <laughs> Oh, oh, where are my keys? Where's my keys? Where are my keys? Peter, what about Babs? Forget about yourself for a second, Carter. Look what has happened to Jonathan Lipnicki. Oh, yeah. No, you're, you're, you're right. You should probably take care of that. Oh, you? that's the coolest George Clooney there is. Hi, George Clooney, second worst Batman. Peter Griffin, second best Homer. You may have heard, I'm also known for my practical jokes on the set. One time, I nailed Nora Dunn in the head with an apple. <laughs> that, that's hilarious, because you're handsome. Otherwise, you're just some dick who hit a lady. And you, you're done. Clean out your locker. Kicked out? I'm totally screwed. Like those poor guys who had to come up with a new ad campaign for Subway. Hey, I'm Mike. I like sandwiches and people my own age. Subway, please don't think of pedophilia. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. I've seen um, a great deal of Family Guy. I got excited when I, you know, I found out we all had the same last name. That's what made me get into the show. But um, nobody's safe. All right. You can't be easily offended by by a lot of their stuff. Uh, but like I said, they really go there. Wow. Brother Heath Ledger and Kurt Cobain. Oh. The Kobe one wasn't so bad. Like, you know, because they didn't deal with uh, nothing to do with his death. But man, when they said roasting, I, I don't know. It got a little dark. It got a little dark, y'all. Uh, comment below if anything made you guys break. Uh... But but like I said, I mean, they be going off stuff that's, you know, in the news. So they have no filter, man, at all. Wow. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, man. Ooh they They really went in on that one. All right, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys didn't make it, what you guys laughed at, what got y'all, uh, and thanks for coming over and watching, man. I truly appreciate you guys. So that's all that's it. Peace out, and you guys stay safe.